<laughs> this is so awkward. I have not sat down and talked to a camera in so long. It feels kind of awkward. I figured I would just do little updates of what this past year has been like because I just graduated. I finished high school. You know, going into my senior year, I was like, I'm going to document as much as I can and make a bunch of vlogs and that did not happen. I definitely still documented my life. I just didn't really make any videos about it. I just kind of fell out of editing and wanting to be on camera and stuff like that. I was like with college starting, I feel like this will be such a transformative period of my life that I really want to document at least for myself so I can look back on it because I look back on my middle school vlogs and even freshman year and I'm just like, wow. So to catch you up on like the past year i like i said i just graduated it literally still feels so unreal like i don't feel like i graduated i don't feel like i'm done with high school and i don't know it's just crazy but it's currently august 10th and i move in on the 16th so next week on wednesday and it's just crazy like everything is really hitting me now i feel like i this whole time i've been so excited for college and i still am i'm really excited to just have freedom and a new environment and to be on my own i feel like i'm definitely starting to get sad and anxious and scared and all the feelings just because it's literally here now and it's thursday so pretty much this is like my last weekend to you know be with everyone these next couple days i'm just trying to see my friends and family as much as i can before we all leave and just spend lots of time you know saying goodbye to everyone so i think i'll just film some clips for these next couple days i guess some like college questions i'll probably get is that i'm going to virginia tech and i'm very excited and my major i'll be studying multimedia journalism and then minor in visual arts and society i don't know if this is like all of virginia tech but i know for at least the school that i'm in we're required to double major or have a minor so after like talking to my advisor and just looking at all the different minors i chose visual arts and society because credit wise it kind of makes the most sense and because i can take a lot of classes that i'm really interested in like i can take cinema classes without actually being a cinema major because i was thinking about that i was like oh i'll just double major or minor in cinema but i can take some cinema classes i'm also taking an art class which i've always wanted to do that i was like oh, i want to be like an art history major and study art but i was like what would i do with that i don't know but i just i like learning and that's what i love about college is just being able to learn so much stuff and like learning things i'm actually interested about but i was just looking at like all the courses that i could take and i was just like this is literally perfect and then like with the society part my african-american studies class i would get credit for that so it's kind of just like i'm already going into it taking classes that would give me credit for that minor i haven't officially declared it or anything so that could change literally every time i tell people my major they're like what is that or they think that i want to be a journalist and that i want to be on the news and on tv and stuff that is not it at all basically i just wanted to study film without being a film major and without going to film school when i first started my college application process which i was going to do a whole video about applying to colleges and then reacting to decisions and then revealing like where i end up going to school and i can still kind of do that because i know a lot of people are going into their senior year this year and so i could definitely make a video about applying to colleges and where i apply to and what schools i got into i mean it wouldn't like be crazy like i didn't apply to like ivy leagues or anything but i could definitely do a video on that but when i first started i really wanted to study film so think of all the best film schools those are all the schools that i really wanted to go to as i started i just like honestly realistically i was just like film school is so competitive these people have been wanting to do film since they came out the womb i don't know i was just like i don't that i have a chance and it's also expensive and i guess when i was applying to virginia tech i was gonna apply to their cinema program but then i saw multimedia journalism and i was reading on what it was and i was like this is honestly perfect for me because i was so back and forth of like film slash media communications i guess which i hate saying because everyone like doesn't know what that is and everyone's like oh that's easy major which obviously it's not like I'm an engineer or STEM or whatever, but I wanted to do something media related. But then I also really wanted to do English because I love English a lot. And that's something that I want to continue taking classes for. And so when I saw their multimedia journalism program, it's literally, you just learn all different forms of media. So like designing websites, the news, writing scripts, TVs, movies, anything like that. And then with my minor, I would also be doing that type of stuff. No, I don't want to be a journalist. I don't want to be on the news, but I liked it because I would be able to study and produce all different types of media and not just focus on film, if that makes sense. So I could do all different types and I have knowledge to do lots of different things. So that's what I honestly really liked the most about that. 
lot but yeah that's kind of what my plans are for college i really do want to make a lot of videos like day in my life and just document my college experience my senior year has been really really good honestly it was like the best year ever i feel like everyone says that junior year is the hardest and i would say academically it definitely can be the hardest but I feel like senior year is just emotionally so hard. Like there's so many changes. The college application process is actually crazy because it's not even just applying to colleges, but then it's like after you apply, it's scholarships. And then when you get in, you have to like, you know, go through, okay, I got accepted here. I got denied here. And then how much money are you getting? And then choosing what school you want to go to. Like, I don't know why that's literally the hardest choosing the school that you are actually going to go to. And then once you do, you have to find a roommate and you know get your dorm situated and then there's all these like forms and things you have to do and it's just it is a very long process that i just feel like i was like dang i forgot we have to do all of this stuff and i feel like everyone just kind of talks about the application part and then oh i got in and i'm going to this school then there's just so much that you have to do and it's just like wow but i am excited i don't know i feel like i had so much to say and then now i don't know what i want to say but yeah this year has been really really good it was a really good year i just i graduated like i literally still feel like an eighth grader i don't know why but i just don't feel like i'm going to college i look so crazy but i'll definitely do like a vlog of me moving into my dorm and i got all my dorm stuff like the basic necessities to live there but i don't know how i'm gonna decorate it i feel like it'll be pretty similar to my room right now with like lots of posters and stuff but other than that i don't really know how i'm gonna decorate it so we'll see i will be living in a suite in case anyone is wondering so in total it will be six people including me literally everyone is going on tour this year and i'm upset that i am not at any of those concerts yeah, definitely let me know if you would be interested if anyone would be interested in like a senior year tip video and applying to colleges and things like that because i keep seeing all these tiktoks about seniors like worried about the application process and i'm just like i'm so happy that that is not me that i'm already done with that and that i don't have to worry about that so if you are a senior i would just say apply to school if you are applying to college apply to schools as early as you can it's just really really nice to get them out of the way i applied early action to pretty much every single school that had it some schools didn't have it so I just had to apply a regular decision, but I applied early action just so that I could have like give myself an earlier deadline and be done with my applications a lot sooner and just get them done out of the way. So pretty much early November, I was done applying to colleges, which is really, really nice because it's just a lot to worry about when you have school and then also college applications. So I would definitely start those as early as you can. And I know something that makes me feel better is just knowing that everyone before me has had to go through this process. So I promise you are not alone. Like if you're scared, nervous, you don't know what you want to do. I promise you are not alone at all. Everyone is scared, nervous, they have no idea what they want to do. And if you don't get into the college you want, it is okay. I promise everything will work out. Definitely live your life to the fullest. Senior year is very fun. So I don't know how all schools do it, but just like senior sunrise, senior sunset, the games, senior picnic, like there's just so much to do this year. And it goes by so fast. Like it literally does. Because I remember when I'm applying to colleges and I'm just like, everything feels so far away. And then next thing you know, you're graduated and you're done. It, it literally it just goes by so quick like it's actually so crazy i love blush i put on so much i feel like lately i don't really do highlight anymore and i don't think i will i think this is all i'm gonna do for my makeup very plain jane i'm already like way faster than i thought i would that's pretty much all that i have to say about that let me know if you guys want a more in-depth video about college and applications and any questions but i'm really happy to be back i just want to document this new era of life that i will be in oh unrelated but i found my mom's digital camera and i'm charging it so that hopefully it works and i can use it today but if i can get this working that'd be really nice it literally looks like a flip phone i'm excited to make videos again and if you're watching this i really appreciate you for still watching my videos so yeah random update i got my ears pierced for prom this is like the third time i've had my ears pierced because i always close and one of them i still had the hole but the other one had closed and i literally i had like stud earrings and it got stuck inside of my ear like the whole earring was inside of my ear 
and that was like the most pain i've ever been in because the whole back was still there like you could see it it was so tight and i tried to push it like push it out but it would not come out and i literally like when she pushed it out it hurt so bad but i was literally traumatized from that so now i wear hoops and i've never worn hoops before until now and they're really cute they're so small and dainty and cute but yeah i was like i do not want that to ever happen to me again so we're just gonna do hoops so they won't get stuck in my ear but that's all for the get ready with me so yeah